What's up, everybody? It's the Common Sense Investor coming at you with another video. I'm feeling good because things are starting to come together, and I just want to share some of that with y'all. With the price, what it is right now, a lot of y'all feel discouraged. You shouldn't. It's the computer. Relax. You're only upset because Moaz has been postponed one more day. But what prolonged the squeeze? Okay. If you're going to buy the dip, which I believe you're going to buy anyway, but I just have to tell you the truth, and then you go on and make your own decision. But you have to reload the boat. That's why they're doing this. Listen, the Moash should have happened already. I know it. You know it. Here's what happened. Sound like Monk, huh? Here's what happened. There was a push. I told Brenda Queen of Swords this story. There was a push months and months and months back to leave the little brokers because the little brokers had what was called payment for order flow. Nobody even knew what that was back then. Then everybody started switching from the smaller brokers. Then one day they pissed Lou off. Luke made a video exposing them all. And he told them, he said, you stupid motherfuckers. You're telling people leave the little brokers because of payment for order flow. And he was making a point. He knew what Tell was doing, but he let them play. And, uh, but he set the record straight. Nobody ever made a retraction video that said Luke was right. They just went on as if nothing had happened. They done referred everybody to fucking Fidelity. Done loaned out all their shares. And I'm sitting over here. I'm laughing. Because I'm thinking, that means on the hook for them fucking shares when the time comes. That means Fidelity is going to take a fucking hit. Why? Everybody went to Fidelity. They wasn't telling them to go anywhere else. They were telling them go to Fidelity. So Fidelity picked up a lot of fucking people. And what they do with the shares. They loaned them out. Nobody made a retraction video. The only thing that was ever said concerning that issue was from that point on, they tell you switch to Fintel and then go to the back office and change your settings. They never said they were sorry that they sent everybody over there wrong. But here's the thing. They were getting the little brokers. Well, let, let me say this first. With every share, it's like a pressure cooker, okay? You have the little brokers, brokers, market makers, everybody is in this, and it's a pressure cooker, and it's about to fucking explode on them all. We know this. It's going to explode unless we release some pressure, okay? Just like on the pot. You got to release some pressure or it's going to explode. How do we release pressure? We get everybody out of the fucking little brokers. Because if we don't, right now, ain't no telling what price they're going to have to pay for AMC. So, word went out. Transfer from the little brokers now while it's cheap. You can fuck where you go. Just go to a big bank that's got money. Transfer from the little brokers now while it's cheap. <laughs> oh, I heard. And I'm screaming, no, don't leave. You're taking the pressure off the little brokers. And at that point, the little brokers was Apex Clearinghouse was at 100% capacity on AMC shares. It was about to fucking blow. But everybody left Weeble. Everybody Robin Hood, everybody left the other places that use X. They transferred to bigger brokers. Took the pressure off the little broker. Now, had the squeeze happen that day and the price move up from $14, I remember the price back then, $14 to $100 the next day. How much would Weeble have had to pay you for your shares? $100 a share. If it moved up to 200, 
we was responsible to pay you $200 a share unless you transfer. If you transfer now while it's cheap, Weeble gets off at $14 a share. Why? Because they went out, they bought the share, they transferred the share. Fidelity loaned that fucking share out. Good God almighty, what a fucking wreck we've been in, huh? You transfer from a little broker because of PO payment for order flow to go to Fidelity, who loans your shorts, our shares out so they could short it against us. We've been in a losing battle ever since. And then we got to fight the smartest fucking algorithm that's ever been created on top of all the fuckery. When everybody moved from the little brokers, it took the pressure off the little brokers. Now, the computer's dropping this fucking price right now to load the boat. To put the pressure back on the, the little brokers. Robin Hood. Weeble. That's who's going to buy him. Those kind of people, I'm one of them, who would buy AMC at $20 a share, $15 a share. They're loading the boat back up. They're building the pressure back up. That's what it's doing right now. That computer is building pressure back up. It was released. It wasn't supposed to be released. It was supposed to blow. But circumstances happened. Pressure was released. Price is dropping. People will buy to load the boat and it will blow. Now, will it blow anyway? Sure. It's going to blow because of what all the banks are doing. But the little brokers are out of it right now and they are the target. And Fidelity, Morgan Stanley, they're not the fucking target. Robin Hood's the target. Weeble's the target. Why? They made a they made a deal. I didn't tell you this part, Queen. Citadel thinks they're a fucking alpha dog, huh? Wolfpack, y'all ought to understand that. Citadel thinks they're alpha, so BlackRock's gonna show them, and they let them dig deeper and deeper, deeper in the hole. Now they got out the hole with the pressure release. That's what's taking so long. They have to build the pressure back up because they could do it now. They could pull the trigger right now. But Morgan Stanley and Fidelity and Capital One and all the rest of them guarantee they would all suffer. And they're not the target. Targets Robin Hood and Weeble and the rest of them. BlackRock is trying to break them, not the big ones. Them. That's who is that's what it's all about, people. Ricardo Garcia is saying, Do you think we can really beat the algos? Yeah. We're not we're we're not fighting the algos. It's the no. two algos fighting each other. That's right. Now, when I say don't buy, you're gonna fuck the algorithm up if you don't buy. The algorithm's gonna move up regardless. <laughs> Of rather us buying or not, you will have no pressure. What I'm telling you is the computer wants you to buy. So you have to take a stand and say, I'm not going to do it when that motherfucker tells me to do it. Don't you hate when somebody tells you to do something over and over? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> this computer has fucking dictated my emotions for a year? No, I take my emotions back. But it wouldn't matter. BlackRock's algorithm is in battle with Citadel's algorithm. Who's going to be the win? Black exactly. sure. Huh? This is what, this is what people aren't understanding. They think they think it's our war. It isn't our war. We can't do anything to change this war. Buy, sell. Nothing's going to change the line. So we buy when at the time winning. So you buy then and keep pushing it up. Somebody, somebody understands what I've been talking about all this time. <laughs> that I mean that sums it up. Listen, we call this a roller coaster ride. Okay, you got to get on a roller coaster. You got on it, 
and the ride has started. And it's an emotional roller coaster. It is taken. If if you just got in this stock, please do us all a favor, shut the fuck up. Because we've been suffering with this bitch for a year. Yeah, we're, we're not even in the fight, people. They're just, listen, you say, well, why is BlackRock wanting to load the boat then? If us buying does not move the line, why would BlackRock want us to load the boat at a low price? It's a robbery. And BlackRock's going to make sure there's no fucking money left. So the more people that get in, the more money can be made, the more they're going to strip from them till they have absolutely nothing left. They won't make it out. They're the ones going to die. BlackRock is loaning them the shares to short. However, they're long, you know. So you keep letting them short it, short it, short it, short it, short it. Then you recall the motherfuckers. It's a perfect plan. I don't know how these dumbasses are falling for it, really.